slow. This is about the book The Science Language of Adam, the Ancient Language Master Key, Untold Story of Language. And today we will be discussing the letter He. Letter He in Hebrew. The sound of the letter He is like that of the letter H, Hi. But in practice, the letter is corresponding with the letter E in English and the number five, it is the fifth letter, also in English. Um, in an ostracon is a little stone or clay piece with writing. An ostracon which was discovered in the area of uh, the ancient uh, settlement Ibn Hatzer near Rosh Ha'ayin uh, in Israel, in central Israel. In this archaeological site, known today as Izbat Karta, uh, or Izbat Tsarta, uh, the letter He was discovered to be identical actually to the letter E in English, so it already developed then a similar form of the letter He. Uh, the letter He actually evolved from a depiction of a man raising his hands to the heavens with his hands above. E is actually the upper part of the body and the lower legs were rounded. So actually uh, the letter He in Hebrew are the two lower legs, the other part of the letter. From this also developed the numeral five, which is actually a part of the sign, of the full sign, but it's one-sided, so it's, the number five comes from this as well. And this uh, ostrican which was found was is about from 1200 to 1000 BC, around, and this was already written as the letter E in Hebrew then. Um, also due to the similarity of sound, the letter He and E sometimes are replaced by the letter A in English, so some roots are written with an A, but it's the English A, but it actually is derived from the letter He in Hebrew. The difference is with the air, He, and it means, uh, it's, it's like a call when you're calling someone or something, something familiar, like, hey, I know this person. So it's the knowing He, that's why we're using it as the the also in Hebrew. And it's also an admiration, a height, knowing, calling a wonder, calling out loud, the letter He means also height, uh, calling from the mountains. You see in the past when people, uh, there, there was no uh, amplification as today. So if somebody wanted to speak to the crowd, they would have to stand up on something and be higher than the other people and he would be the spokesperson. That's why many important people were called Har. Har meaning mountain because they would go either to a higher place or a mountain or an elevated place and speak to the crowds beneath them, and they would be called how. In ancient Egypt, for example, they found uh, stamps with uh, names like Har Yaakov, Har Jacob, Har Yosef, in the ancient city of Avaris, in the ruins of the ancient city of Avaris, Tel El Daba, and this means a, an elevated person, a, a priest or somebody important, like a king or nobleman. Later, still used in, in German, for example, as Herr so and so, and I believe it comes from that, from an elevated person, it means to respect someone, to elevate him. It has to do with this. The meaning of the mountain in Hebrew is also Har, it means. Um, elevated grounds is a har, it's a high head. Rosh is a head, I'm explaining this in another chapter. And har, it means an elevated head. Also, the letter He symbolizes worship, the worship of celestial bodies, like the worship of the sun, the moon, the stars, of the clouds, and rain gods, cloud riders, they were called sometimes the worship of the one God, the most high. One of his names actually in the Bible, also in the Jewish religion, is depicted by the letter He, just He, as the worshipped one. This is the, one of the names of God. The main cults in the ancient world performed their worship on top of mountains. An example is the use of the letter He, calling from a mountain top, can be in the word echo, echo, or head. Hebrew, head, meaning echo, actually. You see, in, in the past, temples used to be built on mountain tops, like Mount Olympus temples, or whether it is in Jerusalem or in, in Haifa, there was also one temple on the mountain top, or in Greece, more temples on mountain tops, in Rome, and so on. The um, Baal Adad temples in northern Syria, 
in Homs or in um, Mount Hermon in Israel had worship there. Brit bin Abtarim, the, the alliance of Abraham was with God was on the mountaintop. So the letter He symbolizes in, also an echo or speaking from the mountaintops. And it symbolizes the rotation, the calling back and forth. The Dalet meaning rotation. So head is in Hebrew meaning echo because the, it, it rotates around. It could be heard all around. The German word Hoch, Hoch or in English high, like height, it describes the heights and it also derived from the letter He. There is a connection between the work of God and the mountain heads. Uh, we can see it also from the Shira Malot, the Song of Virtues. Uh, from the uh, Psalms, chapter 121, verse 1. So the song of the ascents, I will lift up my eyes into the mountains, from where shall my help come? So we can see from that already that the mountains are believed to hold uh, belief in the divine. Another example of the use of the letter in Hebrew roots, for example, to lift something and turn it is hafach, to turn something. La hafoch, to lift and turn something. This is also in the words uh, alleviate, for example, in English, where the E is actually the manifestation of the letter He. Another example of this ed, which is an echo. See, the spokespeople used to be uplifted from other people and admired. So we can see in the word alleviated and admired, Ed, which meaning an echo in Hebrew with a hey, turned into Ed Meyer in English, which is with an A. So here the letter hey became an A. The German equivalent Erheben. Erheben is to uplift. So we can see the hey also manifested in the German word Erheben. And the ben, the suffix ben, it's actually a manifestation of the Hebrew word bar, which is also in German something which is capable of or being done to do something. It's machbar. You can do it. It's make a bur. So the bur, the, I'm explaining also in my book, the, the group of letters L, M, N, R are interchangeable. So ber and bel or ben, manchma, sometimes are interchangeable as well. This is also manifested in the word Honor or honorable, or Herr in German, as we previously discussed, Verhörung, to uplift in German. This is all coming from the letter He. This and much, much more, and how the letters were created, and what does this uh, depiction of a man raising his hands up mean, and where it came from, you can read in my book, and the science letter of Adam.